Right, so here we are again. Uh, just a very quick one. It's the F45C or something like that. Uh, the stealth bomb thing, as you can see. Um, what am I talking about? As I can see. As you can see now. Yep. So, I'm just going to run through a few basics with it because it's a bit of a beast and it's a bit different from the others. So I'll just put you on a normal uh, view. You can have a look around the plane as I get to the right view. There we go. Now you can see what I'm seeing. Um, and we'll just start with the normal batteries on, APUs on, drop the canopy so it's not too loud. Okay, on here we've got the uh, power for this screen and this one here is the power for the heads up display brightness for both of them night, vis night vision and visor master arm um, these are all your lights we'll just flip them on don't need landing lights, that's your instrument lights and brightness for those as well throttle brake Wings up and down for uh, on the carrier along with your uh, hook and launch bars. Bars down here. That's the basics on here. This, however, is a completely different matter. You can have presets on it, so we'll just fire a preset up and we'll put uh, navigation on. So you can have this however you want. You can have four screens across or just two or just one if you wanted to um, this here although there's no enemies on it is an absolute beast because it links into everything else um, and this is the kind of the heart of the weapon system here so you can select a target by moving this blue over clicking our identification window will come up you can either lock the GPS in that goes on your GPS uh, list if you want to launch GPS missiles at it or you can go onto your uh, your target camera and your target camera automatically lock onto it as well um, a million and one things to do there to get to grips with anyway let's go and take this thing up of course it also does engines because we need them to move anywhere um, so it all does, also does physical takeoff and landings um, we'll try that, I'm not very good with those I think we'll stabilise there, so we'll turn the APU off turn the parking brake off just get out of here a second we'll not bother with um, the tower we'll just take off here, so like the other VTOL aircraft, we just use the thumb stick on the left stick and that will do the tilt of the engines you'll notice that the uh, top cover is now open and then we can throttle up. Now I am pretty heavy with stuff so we're not going to go up very quickly but up we will go at a relaxed manner. Okay we're going up and we have got an autopilot if you want to be fancy and then the normal controls a bit like a helicopter tilt your craft where you want to go and on the bottom of the hood, the round circle is your telltale of the direction you're going. As you can see, we're going slightly off to the right. Um, I don't like this. We're just getting out of control a bit. Pushing a bit too hard. So I'm just getting my temp uh, me, um, air speed up. I'll just start tilting that nozzle down. Um, Centre of my hood is a W, that's where the aircraft nose is pointing. The circle to the right is where the aircraft is actually going. So as I tilt these nozzles over, you'll see it drop. So we're actually dropping down, but our airspeed's going up. Engines are at 40 degrees. So we'll go all the way now, fast enough. We'll just lift the nose up, after burners are on, and we're away. So you can also land with that as well if you want. Um, in fact, there is a ship here. Um, don't know if this is going to pick it up. Let's just put the. Uh, 
Yeah, it is. Okay. So we can lock onto something like this, and you see we get an identification. That's the aircraft carrier. If we switch this over to our actual camera system, and we hit EDO EDTS, it'll lock into the aircraft carrier. We can actually zoom in. Yeah. So we have got a boat moored up just down there on that jetty that we'll use for target practice I think not this guy um, so what we will do just get a bit of um, in fact we don't need to get any distance we'll select him on here yeah we'll put a GPS target in and we'll also go to edit okay we'll go to master arm and we'll swap our weapons to yeah that looks good so here's our target we're locked in I think this is a I think this is a GPS I've lost the gimbal on it Let's just drop the uh, the old revs a bit there's our target up there swing round on it now we've got the shoot tone and, and fire up she goes. We'll also get on our heads up display on our camera we can actually see that red marker. Uh, so we can also track missiles coming in. Shoot. So you will get above target and drop down. He says. Or oh, maybe it won't. Okay. That's more like it, I think. I don't know where he's going. Unless I have not put it in on GPS. Probably haven't put it in on GPS. Just a second. Uh, no, it isn't on GPS. In they come. Oh, he's just taking the, uh, the long way around. So we can watch on here. Zoom out a bit. And there we go. Splash. So yeah, this weapon system is just absolutely immense, but getting to grips with it is a bit tricky. Um, <laughs> you can also have um, set layouts on here, and then you can actually save your layouts by just pressing and holding the button when you've got your uh, your screens in the right order. Anyway, that's it really. We'll just come round for a landing. Let's get the uh, nav up. Uh, return to base. Uh, it wants me to go to the no thank you because I can see this here. Let's drop the speed off. Bring it in. Watch our speed as we come in. We'll go for a conventional landing. Uh, comes around. No. Traffic control. Uh, Airbase landing. Alpha one one tower clear to land at runway two five. The uh, RTB line has gone over to here. Okay, I'm on the line now, I think, just about. She's a bit sluggish when she hasn't got a lot of speed in her. And we'll just drop down for a heavy landing, as we do. So, thanks for watching. That was a bit wobbly. Bit of brakes on there and steer her back in so yeah at the moment I'm just um, going through some of the weapon systems to be a bit better online oh, we've got an aircraft up there follow the taxi path to your parking area uh, so yeah we're just going through some of the weapon systems just to um, 
sort out what's what because there is an awful lot to this game to say the least can I just uh, uh, I should have gone there yeah that's the one I could see Oops. I'll stick it back in the hangar and uh, I'll land it there. Ground crew is ready to set you up. Thank you very much, ground crew. So we'll just get rid of that. And that's uh, that's us, I think. Kill all the lights. So yeah, if you haven't got Vito VR and you have got VR, what are you doing? <laughs> you need it. You need it right now. Adios.